What's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Super pumped about this video. You know, I would say 95% of the requests that I get now are for more Jersey concept videos. And uh, I'm in the lucky position where there are so many talented artists out there that send me their work and allow me to, to critique them and view them. Uh, I'm just very grateful of that. And you guys love these videos. You're obsessed with them. That's all you request. So I, I like that you like it. Uh, now, we have a very special submission this time. It comes from someone else who actually has a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is called Touchdown to Home Runs, and uh, they release content on a frequent basis, and they did their best at coming up with 31 jersey designs, uh, NHL jersey designs, and that's what I'm here to rank. I've got them for you. Um, I'm super pumped to, to show you some of these, and uh, I think like, throughout the past history of some of the ranking videos that I've done, or concept jersey rankings, I can kind of pick and I choose my favorites out of all of them for every team. And I think there's going to be some favorites in here f for me. And I think for you guys too, I'm really excited for you guys to see these uh, awesome work. So let's start off with number 31. I'm going to try and get through these ones uh, in this video pretty quickly. Uh, I know I tend to ramble in some of the previous ones. I don't really want this to be a 30 minute video. So I'm, I'm going to try and rush a little bit, uh, but not leave out any details. So let's start off with 31, least favorite to favorites. I put the Edmonton Oilers. So to me, this is a, just a little bit too generic. Uh, it, it feels like it's missing something, either something on the actual dot for the Edmonton Oilers uh, crest. I, can't, I don't really want to call it a crest. It's not really a crest because I'm so used to seeing that they're actual crests. Uh, this is almost like a secondary logo or a tertiary logo or something. It feels like it's missing something a little bit or that it should be on a shoulder uh, or whatnot. There, there's either, there's, either that should move to the shoulder and there should be a different logo in the front or there should be something added to the shoulders here. Uh, so that is the reason that it's last. Number 30th, the Calgary Flames. And I, I promise you I did not put the two two Canadian teams at the at the end on purpose. I'm Canadian, and that would be silly of me to do purposefully. Uh, but I think there's definitely elements of this jersey that I like. Uh, I like that it's black. I, I think it's really interesting to see a black uh, Calgary Flames jersey concept. But I think the shoulders are throwing me off. I love the fact that uh, he kept the shoulder patches, the the typical Calvary Flame shoulder patches on the shoulders, the provincial flag, and then the Canadian flag. But I really like the fact that he kind of changed the Canadian flag to be black and white or monochrome to match their kind of the, the rest of the feel of the jersey. And if it was, if he did include the color in there, then it would just kind of blend into the shoulders. But uh, I'm not, a, I don't know if it's just the, the squareness of the shoulders and the color or, or what, but there's something throwing me off about the shoulders. Number 29, I put the Boston Bruins. And not really because I dislike it a lot. Like if I can really see this being a Boston Bruins third jersey in a way, I think that that logo there is is definitely what they need to be on a third jersey. They've used it in the past. It looks good. I'm, f I'm totally fine with the stripings on the arms. Again, the shoulders, I think being so square in a different color kind of throw me off a little bit. Number 28, the uh, LA Kings. So we could kind of uh, go back in history to use that LA Kings logo. I, I love the numbers up on the shoulders. I don't mind the color, the coloring there and being so square, uh, black. I like the numbers up there. The arms feel a little empty though, um, but uh, I like that it's not white and it's kind of an off gray or silver. Number twenty-seven, the New Jersey Devils. And while I like this classic look, it's an off white. They're going back to kind of the original colors a little bit, which is great. Uh, I don't. I feel again almost like it's missing something, or the logo's too small, or something. There's almost too much off-white space. <laughs> uh, 26, the Anaheim Ducks. And really, this is where it is, strictly for the reason that it's it's so similar to their orange jersey now, which I like. It, I, there's definitely different elements on here, and it's it's done a little bit differently. But uh, it's there's not really anything that makes it stand out, stand out a lot from the current ones. So nothing really to complain about here. Nothing amazing to say, just kind of run-of-the-mill. Number 25, the Winnipeg Jets. I like the new kind of version of the logo. That looks pretty good. It feels, again, almost a little bit empty or something. I don't really know. I don't know if it's the stripes being down so far on the arms and the fact that they're not up by the elbows or higher or, or what. I just feel like it's a little bit empty. Number 24, the Ottawa Senators. And this, even though this is ranked fairly low, it's I think it's a really good example of a clean jersey. That logo on front is very clean. I actually like that. I, they're removing some distracting elements of the current logo and uh, kind of modernizing it a little bit. So this is a very clean black uh, jersey. Number 23, the Arizona Coyotes. So that logo you see on the front of there is kind of nicknamed the, the Roadkill Coyote. It almost looks like a, a coyote. Uh, laying down on the side of the road or something. I think that he brought that in around 2008, 2009, I believe. 
Uh, so it's it's not bad. I don't mind that logo though, but I know a lot of people give it some hate online. The striping on the arms is okay. I really love the the back of the collar. That's that's uh, that's pretty awesome. That's very Arizona. So I I, I do like that. Number twenty two, the Nashville Predators. This almost has like a navy feel to it. Uh, it yeah, it's it's it, it's it's like nautical, I guess, in a way too. It's 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 pretty cool. I, that again, that logo for me. A lot of people have been using it in jersey concept videos, and I say sometimes I like it on jersey, sometimes I don't. I don't think I love or hate it here. It's just it doesn't really do anything for me. It, it's it's floating a little bit, so it feels a little out of place, uh, but not too bad. And I like the stripes in the back of the collar too. Number 21, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So there's been a lot of fantastic uh, Tampa Bay Lightning concepts that I've seen recently. And if I had have seen this first, it probably would have been pretty high on my list, but I just like those other concepts a little bit more. Nothing really specifically wrong with this one. I like the uh, lightning on the shoulders that makes it stand out a little bit. And I really do prefer Tampa to use their uh, to use a black uh, style versus their, the blue one that looks like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Number 20, the Minnesota Wild. And I love the fact that it's not a typical white. It's you're using the the off uh, the off white or the cream color, I guess, if you will. Uh, no complaints here, really, at all. It looks similar to the current jersey that they use now, but it, it's kind of a, a mix between their dark jersey and their white jersey uh, because the white jersey doesn't have that line in the background. But uh, yeah, it's it's not bad. Number 19, Dallas Stars. I think the logo's too small, but otherwise, I really like the rest of the jersey. It's clean. It's simple. Uh, I would just maybe move that logo up a little bit and make it bigger. And uh, yeah. Number 18, the San Jose Sharks. I like the choice of the logo on the front. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of that one. The stripes in the background, though, it it almost loses it a little bit. There's not enough dimension. It doesn't pop away from the uh, stripes in the background enough. I think those logos that are circular, kind of like this one here, work well on on the, a striping that goes in behind because it kind of hides it, where you can kind of see through the tail and the underbelly to, to see the striping. So I think it's a I think it's a little bit distracting, but I like how clean the entire jersey is, and I, I love those shoulder patches. Number 17, the Islanders, and this will probably be pretty low on a lot of people's list, but as you guys know, if you're familiar with the channel, uh, I really like that Fisherman logo. I know a lot of people hate it, and I get a lot of hate for saying that I like it, but I do. I mean, I like it. It's it's. And this is just a, a clean jersey. Take a drink every time I say clean in this in this video. It's 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 just awesome. I there's no really complaints here about but this one. Number sixteen, the Vancouver Canucks, and the specific shade of blue that was chosen here, I think, is really interesting, and I absolutely love it. I love it with that green. The only complaint is the logo on the front. I'm not a fan of that dude, but the rest of the jersey, I think maybe if you make the stripes a little bit thicker and add a different logo on the front, maybe that skate logo colorized to match the rest of the colors on this jersey would look awesome. Number 15, the Montreal Canadiens, my favorite team. Uh, I really like some of the things that have, that have been done here. I like the striping in behind the logo in the middle. I like the, the fleur-de-lis on the uh, collar. I, that's kind of a, a, you know, you're paying homage to the province of Quebec and also stealing a little bit from the Nordiques and the Quebec provincial flag in the back of the collar. That's pretty cool. The only complaint that I probably would have is that from a distance, if you didn't see the front of the jersey, it might kind of look like a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. It's odd seeing uh, blue as the primary color on the Montreal Canadiens jersey. Number 14, the, I guess white was the primary color, color sorry. Uh, number 14, the St. Louis Blues. This is a a modern version of a classic jersey. It's very simple. There's not a lot going on. Uh, I, I like the older style logo on the front. It, it gives a sense of history to the team. I like the secondary logo you chose for the shoulders. That's that's pretty nice. I like that it's off-white as well. Number 13, the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, this is just a really subtle jersey. you got the Vegas on, on the arm there in a... I guess like a graphite color or a charcoal color or something. It's almost hidden in the black, which is pretty cool. It's it's a simple jersey. I love the secondary logos on the shoulder. Um, yeah, it looks good. Number 12, the Carolina Hurricanes. And this is a pretty cool jersey. And it, it, was, it was in my top three. I'm not going to lie. This was in my top three when I initially ranked these. And if I did it all over again, it might move up my list. But uh, it's I really like the version that they use now, that black version that uses the, the logo on the front there. So it's, I almost ranked it mid-pack or 12 or lower than I initially had it because I like the current one better. 
but by this by any means is not a bad design. I really like it. I love that the arms are black and the rest of the jersey is red. And you get that that I don't can't I don't know if I can you know that that pattern that's on there and the uh, North Carolina uh, patch on the shoulder there and then another patch on the other side. It's a really nice looking jersey. Number 11, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I get vibes of a couple of different Toronto Maple Leafs jerseys kind of mixed into one here. And it, it, it's it's pretty great. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. There's nothing crazy outstanding on here that's super distracting or anything. I like the fact that the logo is on the shoulder and with nothing in the middle. And it's kind of just outlined in, in a blue stroke. I really like that. And the fact that the numbers are in between the two stripes on the arms, I like that as well. So it's a really good, clean jersey. Number 10, the Washington Capitals. My mind fought back and forth a little bit on this one. I, I love the logo on the front. I'm not used to seeing it with, with those colors. And the striping throws me off a little bit. The striping in the background is that navy blue, but on the arms, it's red. So I don't know if all the striping should be the same color or if they should be inversed or I don't know. I can't really decide, but I like the shoulders. I like the stars on the collar as well. So uh, pretty cool jersey. Number nine, the Florida Panthers. So this is really stealing uh, kind of a previous color combination of the Florida Panthers that they used, which was similar to that Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. I, I always got them confused a little bit, uh, but the original logo, which is awesome, I love that. Shoulder patches on the uh, on the shoulders, which they currently use, but in a different color scheme. So the colors are matched to the current jersey that we're seeing, which is awesome. I really like that. So I think this is a, for thinking third jerseys, I think this is a pretty good third jersey. So it's it has elements in there of the current team but it's a completely different color combination. So I, I think this would appeal to a lot of fans. Number eight, the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we're taking, I th I, number one, I think this is really well done. You're taking original Pittsburgh Penguins colors, kind of using a different logo on the front, modernizing it a little bit. Uh, I think this is a really nice jersey. I even like the fact that this section here of the Adidas jersey is the same color as the shoulders and the rest of the stripes and stuff. Uh, I think it's a, a very well-balanced jersey. Number seven, the New York Rangers. I love that Liberty Head logo, and I, I like the subtle stripes in behind and on the arms as well. Now, the, the uh, logo's on here. Now, we kind of saw that with the Toronto Maple Leafs, how it was kind of missing some things in the logo, and that looked intentional on that one. But here, this one almost looks like a mistake. I'm, I'm not used to seeing that logo without the New York on the top and then the Rangers kind of coming across. So I almost want that font back in there just to make my mind happy a little bit. I'm just not used to seeing that logo without those elements. Number six is the Detroit Red Wings. And Detroit's kind of one of those teams like Montreal and like Toronto. You don't want to change too much. You kind of want it still to have that original six um, vibe or feel. And I think I think he's done that here. I, I, I like the, the stylized D up on the shoulder and still using the same logo, which is great. But again, not a white, an off-color cream, which for some reason we associate with an older jersey even though they didn't really use that color a lot back then they just use white number five the philadelphia flyers i think this is the point of the video where people are going to really disagree there's either going to be um, like those people like myself who like really like it or love it and then there's going to be people who absolutely hate this because there's no orange in here it's completely different than any design that philadelphia has ever used and it's, it's, I can see people saying, this is too different. There's no color to it. This is very LA Kings. I don't like it, but I quite like it. I think it's, I think it's totally different in a positive way. It's really simpling down uh, the Flyers jersey just by removing the orange. You know, they've used, black as one of their colors. They use it in, in everything that they have. So just making this completely monochrome or desaturated or, you know, black and white. I like that a lot. It almost has like a football jersey feel to it number four the colorado avalanche and i don't like the stripes along the bottom of the arms but only a little bit i love the top of the arms where it kind of has the uh, the mountains a little bit or the inverse mountains if you're depending on the, the way you want to look at it and the collar is really unique i absolutely love that it, it might be a little bit distracting on the ice and of course i love that uh, logo in the middle so this is definitely gonna be, always going to be ranked high on my list number three the chicago blackhawks I want a Chicago Blackhawks black jersey. I know a lot of you do as well. I know, but I do know some people who don't want a black a Blackhawks jersey, and that's fine. But the fact that this is black and perfect, I think this is a perfect black Blackhawks jersey. It's a, kind of an odd sentence to say, but love the logo on the front. That's fine. That's the original, their current logo that they use. 
The one on the shoulders is is colorized a, a little differently, mainly to match the rest of the jersey, which is awesome. Stripes are great. The stars along the collar is indicative, or is in, is because, or what's the word I'm looking for? Is done with the intention to match the flag of Chicago, which I learned recently. I didn't really know that that was the Chicago flag, but uh, it is. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Number two, I put the Buffalo Sabres. So this is really the exact same jersey that the Buffalo Sabres use now, but with the logo that I, I actually really want. I don't, the one they use now is fine, whatever. But this goat head one is, is fantastic. I love, I love the fact that they took it from that red jersey or that uh, goat head jersey and brought it to a new, th th their current jerseys. I think you're kind of satisfying both parts of the Buffalo Sabres fan organization or fan base there a little bit. Some people hate the GOAT, but they like uh, the, the current logo and the current colors. Uh, some people don't really like the current colors, but they like the GOAT heads. So this is kind of a combination of, of two of the things. And I think, to me, this is the perfect Buffalo Sabres uh, dark jersey. Uh, well done. And number one, the Columbus Blue Jackets. I, I honestly wouldn't change anything about this jersey it is phenomenal it looks like a uniform it looks it's clean I, don't know, I said it again it's clean it's it's just very uniform it's it's simple it there's not a lot going on i don't feel like anything's uh, missing it's just a really good concept of a white jersey and i very rarely rate or rank white jerseys at the top of my list so the fact that this i do have a white jersey at the top of my list means that I I quite like this. So uh, well done. Touchdown to home runs uh, on your concepts. I Just a fantastic job. Thank you so much for sending them over to me. Uh, if you guys want to go check out uh, his YouTube channel, feel free. I'll link it down below in the description and as a pinned comment. And make sure before you go, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also leave a comment telling me what your favorite concept was. I'd like to hear your thoughts on your favorite and really all of them. Any, any comments that you want to leave on these jerseys, I would love it. And I'm sure Touchdown to home runs. We'll be reading the comments as well. So uh, yeah, leave your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Wow.